Hey folks, Technivorous here as always, and today we're going to be taking a look at a not-so-new extension for Kira that is available now that has recently had a major update. Now, I am a big fan of Thingiverse, even though for a lot of people I hear a lot of times it doesn't work as it should. I have had a couple of problems, but not nearly to the level that people say they have. On that note, there is an extension for downloading Thingiverse models directly from Thingiverse into Kira without actually going to the Thingiverse site and it works amazingly well. And with the latest beta version of Kira, they actually also did an update to allow you to choose your search between either Thingiverse or My Mini Factory. So you now have two repositories to choose from, search from on the fly, and then immediately download that model to your build plate and be slicing and ready to go in a matter of seconds. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So one of the great things about Kira is the fact that you can add extensions. And today we're going to be looking at an extension that's been around for a little while, but they recently had a major update that makes this a total game changer once again. So uh, in order to access this, you're going to have to go and click on your extensions. You can see I already have it added in here. But what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to the marketplace. So if you don't have the option for this, which you won't because you haven't installed it yet, you're going to go ahead open up the marketplace and once it loads you're going to go ahead and enter the window where the extensions are shown scroll all the way down to the bottom on the right side here you'll see one that says thingy browser and go ahead and click on that and click install now once you install it it's going to tell you that you need to restart Kira and at that point go ahead and close Kira and open it again and now that I've reloaded you'll notice when I go back up here and go to the extensions again that I have the thingy browser right there so i'm going to go ahead and click open what thingy browser does is it allows you to browse through things on thingiverse without going to thingiverse so it's a lot easier to see without having to see their jank this is basically all of the models that i have available on thingiverse they all popped right up they're all ready to go and you can go ahead and click on either the link or click details to get more information now if you'd like to add it directly to the build plate let's pick something cooler here so this is that sword knob extruder i just did if you click details and click add to build plate, it will download it and put it directly on the build plate. So this is a, an amazing tool. And not only does this work on Thingiverse, but they have also just updated it to work on my mini factory as well. So you can get any model that you want basically from these two sites without ever leaving Kira and you get a nice view. You can actually enlarge the window, get a good view of what each of them are, get some details about Ultimaker 2 tray removal. Let's see, details. Um, so it gives us a little bit of details, gives us the STL and an image file and the option to just add it to build plate. And as you can see, it is that easy. Back to results, I'm going to actually go ahead and close this window now. And both of my models, I imported one from Thingiverse and one from my mini factory. And they are both right there and ready to go. So this is an awesome and epic tool to have. If you don't have this extension, I highly recommend it. Especially if you have even a somewhat decent internet connection, you can basically get right on Thingiverse and find the model you're looking for without having to use a browser and fumble through their horrible, horrible jank and at what sometimes can be a heck of a mess trying to get something found at their website. But like I said, in addition to that, I wanted to point out that you also had the option to download the things from my mini factory because that is a great addition. It is a completely different repository and it gives you a lot of other options. And that also tends to lead to reason that you will be seeing more additions of repositories. So this is going to become a go-to place for searching for and finding models. And it'll save you the trouble of scouring a bunch of other sites eventually. For right now, it'll save you the trouble of dealing with Thingiverse and My Mini Factory. And I definitely highly recommend this extension. And that's basically it, guys. With this extension, you no longer have to use your browser to visit the horrible Thingiverse website. And you can also search both Thingiverse and My Mini Factory practically simultaneously within the same search bar, within the same window, and get pretty much instantaneous results, as well as practically instantly importing any model you might find right to your build place. So this is a handy extension and the way of the future as far as repositories go. So keep it up, Kira. We love to see this kind of thing. And we're looking forward to see what repositories get added to this extension in the future. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. 
you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.